The HR platform Gusto gathered data from its 300,000 small and mid-sized businesses. The survey suggested while still rare, an extended leave from work, paid or unpaid, is becoming more valued in the workplace. Ashley Creek remembers her experience into depression as a slow descent. It was both trying to be responsible in my own life, right, and take care of myself um, and, and, of course, meet my responsibilities of financial provision. Creek's work as a mental health professional meant working with clients 50 to 70 hours a week, a role she admits was a contradiction. Here I am trying to help people implement um, tools in their life to have a successful, joy-filled life, but I'm so tired that I can't do it for myself. Creek realized she needed to step back and did so without pay. But it was one of the hardest decisions because I cared about what I was doing, but also, and I, I needed to be able to provide for myself financially. According to Gusto, Creek's decision to concentrate on herself underscores a shift in how workers are viewing productivity and wellness. What kind of imprint am I really leaving on the world? What kind of joy am I bringing to myself and my family if I can't even show up for them because I'm trying to work so hard? Creek has since gone back to work, this time in a position that works for her. I'm just really grateful that that I came to a point in my early 30s where I was like, this is not working anymore. And While we know not everyone can financially take a sabbatical, it's important to check in on your mental health. If your company provides PTO days, try using them for a mental health day if you are feeling overwhelmed. Back to you.